When I look at the Anacostia River, I see a really beautiful river that has a lot of problems. When I was shooting in this project on the Anacostia, they had a huge hurricane that didn't come near here. It went up to the northeast, but the Anacostia was really, really low. What did that do? Well, it revealed all this trash in the bed of the river that I came out early morning and late evening and photographed that trash because it was revealed. For many, this river is home. Home to people, home to fish, and to birds. But also home to a long, dark history of neglect and abuse. Today, the Anacostia River is one of the most polluted and urbanized waterways in the United States. It's a dumping ground for trash, industrial toxins, sewage, and polluted stormwater. The Anacostia drains 167 square miles of land inside and surrounding the District of Columbia. It travels eight and a half miles through forest, wetlands, suburbs, and urban centers until it joins the Potomac River. The hope is that the Anacostia will be cleaned up enough so that it's swimmable and fishable by the year 2025. That's an enormous challenge because of the Anacostia's notorious history. Today, a lot of good is happening along the Anacostia. As the extent of the river's abuse and neglect over the years has been revealed, an energized momentum of progress is emerging among individuals and groups committed to cleaning it up. The question is, will it all work together to truly clean up the Anacostia? Trey Sherrod is the Anacostia Riverkeeper. He knows a lot is at stake here. When we talk about environmental justice, it's, it's sort of unfortunate. We almost always talk about environmental injustice instead. River Terrace, to this day, people that came up there are still suffering from asthma, cancer, and learning disability at a higher rate than not only the national average, but the national average for people already living in cities. Dennis Chestnut has lived near the Anacostia River most of his life. For him, cleaning it up has become his life's work. This particular area where we're located, I've been coming here for many decades. Originally, this was an area I, I used to come to as a child along with a, a lot of my young friends. This was our, our beach and we loved it. I learned how to swim here and when I did get to a swimming pool, I think I was a little better swimmer as a result of learning to do it in the river. Having grown up in this community and coming to this, this same area and to this, this uh, river as a child, and then coming back now and seeing the conditions of how polluted it is, especially with all of this visible pollution, you know, really makes me more anxious to do the work to help restore the health and clean it up. 